The perfect, perfect spot. 2016 Lucas Oil Pro Motocross Champion. I think it's really cool to see Ken, like some of the posts he did last week. That, that's what it's about. These guys are human. They deserve that victory beer and that slice of pizza. In my opinion, and maybe I'll get castrated for this, but I, I think there needs to be more of that in the sport. I would say he's not German. He's Ken Rossi. He has appeal all across. I, I'm just, I'm me. You know, whatever I feel like posting, I'm definitely going to post. And it's not necessarily anything bad. I'm just, I really show who I am and, and that I'm a fun character. And I feel like a lot of the fans get a good laugh out of it, and that's ultimately what it's all about. Cheers, congratulations! The 2015 Full 50 Lucas Oil Pro Motocross Champion! He works his ass off, but you also you want to enjoy it, you know? He loves riding his dirt bike, you know, and have some fun. He's having a blast, you know, doing a championship and doing what he loves. Where are we at? Oh, we're in Drop of Tula, Indiana. <laughs> we are about to head out for first practice. Uh, the weather is looking pretty sweet. We've had a lot of rain. It's going to be pretty deep. Oh, guy was just telling me you want to have as good week as last week. I'm like, oh, yeah, we're good. And he's like, yeah, but a party won't be as good. I'm like, what do you know, man? Last week was a free run. There's no question. Ken's coming to race today. He's here to win. I'm sure he's ticking away those victories, and he doesn't want anybody to think he's coming in soft, and I would be shocked not seeing him on top of the box. Uh, Marshall, 32, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 7, Candy, 35, 1. I always want to dominate, that's for sure. But uh, there's no but, honestly. We're just going to go out, like I said, at fun. I feel like that's when the best results come in anyways. Did you try so hard on some spots? Crazy. Some of the takeoff, you're just... Drugs pretty shitty right now. I don't know how it's gonna be, honestly. It's gonna be crazy. Yeah, that's what's really cool about Ken. You know, he has that old school personality. I don't have to answer that, do I? <laughs> pretty, pretty freaking funny. You know, maybe I'm just the old guy talking, but you know, when he saw the McGraths and the Annigs and the Carmichael, there's so much flair. It's not like he's all serious. You know, he's home doing all his work and everything. You know, he works his ass off. Cause I, otherwise, he wouldn't do anything. I like that better when it was tougher a little bit. I think it's really great for the sport, it's really healthy, and it's just cool to see Ken kind of bring that old school flair, but just have the, the new school riding style and the dominance. To win, you have to be super serious what you do, but when you're not working out, or when you're not training, I think you can enjoy life too. Yes, the, yeah, yeah, Tomek totally is point one ahead of you, so you're good. After we win more or whatever, dude, I was just going like this everywhere and I'm standing up. It's way better that way. I mean, besides feeling like a novice out there, pretty good. <laughs> No, I am third, which is fine. And we did a change once, and that, I thought it was going to be better, but it wasn't. It just was going like this everywhere. It's crazy, because at first there was no rain, and then they said it was going to rain all day, and it rained a little bit, and I guess now no rain. But it's crazy. It's absolutely mind-blowing to see how dominant he was this year. You know, you don't really see that happen too much anymore. I mean, the field's so deep, and these guys are riding so well. Uh, Eli kept him honest, but, I mean, just to watch what Ken did this year was just mind-blowing. Will Ken Roxon have his way once again? What about number one qualifier, Justin Barsha? He's been getting quicker and quicker as the year's gone on. So many stories in this one. You see that? Road race skills, bro. We await for the final moto of 2016. Lucas Oil Pro Motocross Championship. Here we go. The glory of everything was going through my head. I mean, you know, you see all these fans cheering for us, and I just thought about, you know, I mean, we had what 20 moto wins out of 24, which is pretty amazing. I think it always kind of needs to take. It takes a little bit of time to actually really settle. That's right, Iron Man. Cheer for Ken Roxon. His lead is so big. This is like two victory laps in one. And you're going to take the checkered flag. Once again, Ken Roxon wins. Number number two here at Iron Man. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is definitely pretty sweet, man. We're grabbing the championship up last week. They go 1-1 this week. Can't be mad at that season. This is a tough, tough What's Katie going to do tonight? Watch some football and hang out.